and good day. This is uh, Coach Big Pete of Deep Dish Football. This is a Deep Dish Football update, May 26, 2018, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, ready to kick off the season. Uh, Tuesday is the first uh, Deep Dish Football tour spot stop uh, in Orion, Illinois. Can't wait. It's going to be a it's going to be a great time. Uh, Free Rivers Conference. Um, I've toured with Fulton um, and I'm with the Hall, so this is the third one, and um, I can't wait. Uh, should be a fun time. I'm really excited, really excited about to start the season off at the Deep Dish Football Tour, uh, the annual third. This is the third one. Started with Warren Township in the first year. Second year was Hoffman Estates, and Oregon is going to be this Tuesday, the day after Memorial Day. Uh, I wish First, I want to wish everyone a happy and safe Memorial Day weekend. Uh, please be smart. Uh, please don't drink and drive. Um, just, just, just have a great uh, great holiday with your family and friends. All right, so let's get started. I released uh, on in the article. Please go to deepdishfootball.com to visit the article. Also, follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football and the Weemy Report on Twitter, Facebook. I'm also on Instagram as well. If you just search Coach Big Pete or Peter Lineweber, uh, you'll see it. Um, and again, my email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. And please make sure that you fill out the recruiting questionnaire uh, uh, link uh, on the right side for deepdishfootball.com. You'll see it for contacts, and you can send me your information. Um, and your information doesn't get sold. Your information doesn't do any of that other stuff. I just make sure I have your information. I share your information sometimes with the college coaches if they ask. Uh, none of that stuff. And I do talk to college coaches, unlike some other people that I know who claim they talk to college coaches, but the college coaches never, ever talk to them, which is funny. Because uh, you have people that claim they talk to college coaches, and they don't. And uh, that's, uh, that's, that's absolutely hilarious to me, uh, and to a lot of college coaches as well. Um, so let's get started. As I skipped in and out, three games, uh, St. Patrick versus Niles Notre Dame. Notre uh, York versus Hinsdale Central, and uh, the third game, uh, it's going to kill me, uh, oh, uh, South Elgin uh, versus, I'm forgetting the team, but those three games are deep dish football overtime games of the year. I'll be going to those on Saturday after uh, Breakfast with Coach Big Pete, and remember, Breakfast with Coach Big Pete uh, starts the first week of the season, Saturday morning at 9 a.m., the best online broadcast show, the best show, basically, uh, talking about football around the state of Illinois. And please, when I say this, I cover the entire state of Illinois football. I do not just, I, I don't cover a small little piece of Chicagoland and say I cover the whole state of Illinois. I cover the whole state of Illinois. I cover it. I talk about 1A, I talk about 2A, I talk 1A to 8A. I love the game of football. I don't like any other sport. I love football. Um, there's people that say they, that they're all about football, they're football experts, never coached, never played, and it's an absolute joke, and they don't even know what the hell they're talking about, which is even more funny. <laughs> but let's get started with a couple few things. Also, this is the and this is the last one too. Deep Dish Football Fundraiser will be ending at May 30th. Um, gonna definitely miss the goal. Uh, so there's gonna be no on-field content, no camera crew. That was the whole reason for the fundraiser. But again, um, please feel free to donate. This money goes to basically the upkeep of the website, the editing series, everything else that upkeeps Deep Dish Football. This money ain't going into my pocket. This money is basically going in towards the process of Deep Dish Football. The gasoline that I need to drive from here to Springfield. The gasoline from here to Peoria. It takes a lot. It really takes a lot. So please... Feel free to check out the fundraiser, uh, GoFundMe page, and there's also going to be a, there's also a PayPal link. So let's get started with uh, so that's all taken care of. Orange the first stop, deep this football game of the week, as you know, is going to be Lamont versus Batavia. Scrimmage of the week is going to be Hundley. Okay, so let's get so now we're done we're done with that we're done with that. Let's get to the real talk. Um, and I want to talk about this. This one's really pissing me off. And I do apologize for any language. Uh, I really do, and this is something that I, I, I have to get off my chest. You as a parent for a player have a right to criticize your son to his face. No doubt about it, that's your right. You as a parent, s s 
uh, your son's teammate, you had no right to be basically talking crap about him to me, to any writer, to any coaches, to any of that BS. And, and it pisses me off. And it's starting to really piss me off now where you have parents that will email me and basically say, this kid's not smart. He's not going to get it. Or this kid, he, he doesn't have the money to go to college. Ha, 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 ha. All that bullshit. And I apologize for the language. I really do. But that's the reason why I literally there's some parents that I just, I can't, I can't talk to because they're basically too down on their son's teammates or talking shit about them or saying that they're too dumb and they don't deserve to go to college. That really pisses me off. Really pisses me off. When you can, when you have the fucking, apologize for the language, when you have the gall, the absolute gall to talk a shit about a kid's grades, and I'm happy when I talk to kids about their grades, and they have a low score or a low GPA, and they work their asses off, and they get that GPA, they get that ACT score, and they get to, and they get to go to college because they are eligible to go to that college. I'm really excited about that. But you as a parent, and your son, and you're talking crap about your son's teammate is absolute BS. Absolute BS. And just because he's got a D1 offer and your son hasn't gotten an offer, there's no excuse. And I know I don't understand this. And this started when I got this. I did, and then I say this before. I had not paid attention to high school football for a long time until 2013 when I took over as a coach, as assistant coach at Westmont High School. I was introduced to all this bullshit. And this is one of the biggest bullshit things that I've ever seen. Parents talking crap about a kid's uh, grades or talking uh, uh, crap about how he's too slow and your son is playing with this kid and you're basically making, you're, you're basically, I don't, you're demeaning this kid's character. It's, it's beyond belief. And for you to call yourself an adult, for you to do this, you deserve a swift kick in the ass. And I'm just saying it. I know it's, I know I'm going to get a lot of BS. Why did you swear on this? I, but it's, it's been pissing me off. And um, I'll give you a thing. I did a small school thing. I talked about one kid and his, other, and this, his, this uh, dad's kid is good too. And he's probably going to play division two football, just like this other kid. He's going to play division football, division two football too. No doubt about it. But I got a dad literally telling me, well, why, why, why don't you cover my son? My son's a lot better. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, he's, he's, you, the article that you did, he got looks by college coaches. I said, that's not true. That's not because of the article, because I told that kid to basically fill out the rules of recruiting questionnaires. Filled out those recruiting questionnaires, and he's getting looks by college coaches. All you got to do is have your son fill out those recruiting questionnaires. But you got to send me an email talking shit about your son's uh, uh, teammate or son's friend uh, because he's getting looks now. No excuse. Absolutely no excuse for what you do as a parent. It's complete BS that you have the gall, the cojones, the balls to literally talk shit. Talk shit about your son's friend who's, at the, who's playing football with him. It's absolute bullshit. Absolute bullshit. And it's become really popular. I Like I said, I saw it in high school football when I was coaching. Back when I was playing, that was 2004, there was a little bit. But now it's literally, it's, that's all it is. It's literally, oh, this kid, blah, 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 this kid. My son's teammate, don't, 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 don't call me, but I heard about this kid. He's not that smart. You had no right to say that. And especially as you as an adult, that's complete BS. And I get happy when a kid has low test scores, low GPA, he works his ass off for six months, and he gets that high GPA, he gets those test scores, he takes the ACT or the SAT, and he gets those test scores, and he's eligible for that college and offered him. I get excited, I get happy for that kid. Because let me tell you something, as a parent, when you say that stuff to me about that kid, saying he's not smart, and he gets that test score and he gets that GPA, I would nothing more like to do, but I know I can't, I know I can do it, is ask for that kid to print out the test score and shove it in that parent's face and say, shut the fuck up. Because honestly, that's all you're doing. You're basically just a fucking adult baby that's all you are you're an adult baby crying and whining his way or her way because there's a lot of moms too that do the same thing too but literally 
You as a parent or an adult, fucking act like one. That's all you got to do. Act like an adult. Simple as that. That's all you got to do. All you got to do. Next one. And I got to get, get another thing from the adults and some of the kids. Well, I went to the showcase and I didn't get any notice. This was the National Outlet Showcase. Uh, I, I didn't get any notice. What, what's, what's going on? What's going on? Because college coaches don't pay attention to that, all that BS. They don't care about the stars. They don't care about the rankings. And Deep Dish Football has rankings with the panel of high school coaches. But guess what? They could give two shits about it. They don't care about this stuff. They don't care. They do not care. It's their own analysis. They'll see a couple few lists. Oh, look, there's a name. Woo, there's a name. We got a name. We'll put it on our list. But seriously. And you gotta, you just have to understand it as a parent. Uh, and and as a kid, and this is the one other thing too I like, to, and this is one of the things I like to talk about too. This is the last one. I've done interviews with uh, fullbacks, defensive tackles, second string players. Uh, uh, yeah, second string players, uh, kids that aren't that athletically talented, um, but are are leaders in the team. And I have received complaints. Well, he's not a starter. He's not a star player. He's not this. Let me tell you something right now, and I'm gonna say this. A full hearted thing for you parents to understand, for you fans to understand. Football is not about the effing recruiting. Football is about football. There are 11 players on the field. 11 players on the field. That's it. It's not about the stars. It's not about the recruiting trips. It's not about that. You want to know the programs that win? The programs are the ones that focus just on the team. You want to look at a couple few teams? Look at Batavia High School. Look at Batavia High School. I talked about Max McFadden. The kid busts his ass. Breaking up double teams. Did a lot of credit for those linebackers. But, again, no comments from the community. No comments. I didn't get any emails about Max McFadden. That shows you the strength of that Batavia community. Simple as that. But you have others... Well, why don't you talk about a fullback? The fullback doesn't matter that much. You should talk about Well, that kid busted his ass. He did a lot of things because he didn't get enough because he didn't get that many touchdowns. But if you if you look at it, that kid made a key block on that linebacker for the running back basically to get 20 yard gain in them for a touchdown. So come on. Who are you kidding? Football's about the team. This is the most team oriented sport ever. That's what football is. It's about 11 guys. It's not about one or two guys. Two guys that's got two stars. Uh, a guy that went to the to the, uh, uh, the Space Jam All-Star game, and he, and he got three touchdowns, and he's special now. It's not about that. It's about as a team. And that's why I laugh my ass off. Because when we talk about top recruits, and we talk about two or three top recruits into school, usually the teams that have a top, a top-ranked quarterback, a top-ranked wide receiver, or in that – in that scenario, don't do so good. I don't know why, but they just don't have really good. They don't have good seasons as a team wise, and that's what a lot of people forget. You could put the the team is the football game is not about eleven guys. It's, I'm sorry, I'm not, I apologize. My mind is drawing blank. It's not about one or two guys. It's about those eleven guys. And it's about those guys on the sideline. And I please and I beg of you, please understand this. On the sideline, you have some kids that actually care about the game of football, care about their team, and you have some kids that are on the field of the same team that don't care about football, um, that don't care about things. All they care about is getting recruited. Please understand it. And I bear witness to it. I've coached it. I've seen a kid, small kid, small defensive tackle. I think he, I think it was 5'2", five, five, it was 5'2". 5-2 defensive tackle, but he had the most heart and he cared most about that football team than any other of our top ranked, top our um, top recruited players. That kid cared more about the game than those other kids did. So please understand it, that some of those kids on the sideline that aren't starting, they don't have natural talent. Some of them don't have talent. They still bust their ass and they kill, care about the game and they care about their school and they care about the team. Simple as that. So please understand that. All right.
not plugging in a lot of uh, complaints and all that stuff, please feel free to email me, coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Uh, my Twitter account, follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football and Women Report on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Please, uh, May 30th ends the fundraiser. Please feel free to leave a donation. Um, again, it goes towards the coverage of Deep Dish Football. Uh, have a great Memorial Day weekend. Be safe. And again, I'm going to probably get a lot of complaints. But thank you so much. Have a lovely day.